thoughts. We've got subjects that we could talk about. Oh yeah, let's yeah. hear it. Yeah. I, I wanna I wanna know what you guys think about everything that's happened lately with like Andrew not Andrew Tate, with Aiden Ross getting kicked off of Twitch and like the type of content that's he's been um, pushing through on this kick platform. It's it's kind of fascinating because you're looking at somebody who clearly kind of had the world by the balls and could have pretty much done whatever in terms of building like a, a brand as a streamer and everything, mm -hmm. but the allure of telling the world that there are two genders and all and like going on this little like Andrew Tate loving spree is apparently too strong because I mean it, part of it's got to be the fact that he apparently has like you know 50 million dollars or 100 million dollars something heard all sorts of insane Ross has 50 million dollars well he was allegedly getting four million dollars a month from stake at one point to uh basically endorse their gambling site and play on stream and everything he allegedly got 150 million from state or uh, from kick, kick the yeah. new streaming platform so i don't know if any of those numbers are true but even if they're like totally off like he would pretty much have to be an idiot to not have like 50 million plus in the bank right now which has got to yeah. be kind of overwhelming when you're just 22 22 year old kid i interviewed him a couple years ago and he was painfully normal Interesting. you know i'm sure if you even have 10 million dollars just fuck it retire why well, be perceived mm. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like you, what you're doing how yeah, old is everybody here just curious actually i know how old he is how old are you too if you mind saying are you giving a proxy I'm, I'm, I'm 30 okay yeah i'm 29 i feel like um you guys okay. look great for your age for the record thank you so much. yeah i'm just curious for where we're all in life uh, I feel like it's hard when I feel I feel something for these kids that are like nineteen and twenty, yeah. and getting like worldwide fucking fame. No, literally, it's easy for me to look at Aiden and be like, "What a fucking moron!" But dude, if I look at myself when I, I'm thirty four now, if I look at myself when I was twenty seven, I was a fucking idiot. I can't even mm -hmm. imagine being twenty one or twenty with like seventy thousand live. I can't even imagine the insane shit I would say. So he's he's stupid, but he should be. He's like twenty two, right? I think like about this to be. all the time. Like if I had the platform and like the amount of like resources and power that I have now when I was like 18 or Constant. 19, I would probably be dead. Like I probably would not have lived this long. I would have yeah. done something so stupid that it would be gone. And you want to re rebel and fight. Like, yeah, there are fucking two genders or whatever. Mm. But it hits different when you're like a college kid who's mad at mom and dad versus when you're on, you know, kick with 80,000 people watching and everything you say resonates out into the internet ethers, you know? Okay, but when you see the latest uh, in Ross career arc in particular, like that there are two genders tweet or whatever, like, do you feel like it's coming from a principled stance where he really believes these things no. and he wants to put it out into the world regardless? Or do you feel like this is him just kind of losing it? When I, I think he's losing it. I feel like Aiden said there are two genders because that's as high as he can count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's put a lot of thought into transgender. I think if I were to ask him for a coherent definition of like sex and gender, he'd probably like drool a little bit. So that's why. I, no he's, offense to Aiden. I was supposed to be on a stream yesterday. I'm sorry. You, I love you tell you. me, but he's not saying the right thing, right? Like he's not saying what he thinks he's saying when he says there are only two genders because nobody's really arguing because He's arguing of course like there the are more like genders. 72 gender thing or whatever but he really means says there's no trans people that's what that's he's what trying I'm, to say yeah, yeah i think that's what he means but the idea that like you know if i put on a wig and a mini skirt then i'm kind of like performing the female gender but he'd of, probably be opposed to that i would imagine right? i imagine yeah i want to know what you guys think about him didn't he show porn yeah. but that was on, on twitch kick? On no kick. on kick, on kick yeah. so he got kicked off of twitch permanently but that happened at a later I think that or? happened after he did the porn thing. Yeah, because I think I mean, he was it's all on connected. Well, I think he was on Twitch, and I think he showed his kick chat for like twenty minutes, mm. and then I think he got banned. That's what I saw. Interesting. That was tweeted out because apparently there were lots of racial slurs and stuff. Because that's what we do when we're unmoderated. We immediately go to the racial slurs, I guess. Yeah. So his kick has no moderation in the chat. Very, very, no. very little. Wow. Um, like let's go. Crazy. Um, recently, no. Heel Mike got a one day ban for getting a blowjob on stream. Who's Heel Mike? Heel Mike, he's just a, another streamer. Okay. He's another streamer. That, what? Yeah, a lot of... Wait, he got a blowjob? He got a blowjob You can on only screen. see a little the, bit, right? The, I think it was his face was on the screen, but it was very apparent that he was getting his dick sucked. Wow. Like, Wait, is that really where they draw the line? Do they... Why? That's interesting. I don't know. Um, and people can be nude on kick, right? This is what I've heard. Or can I is do a... Accurate? Can you orgasm on... Uh, Twitch if you are not showing any genitalia like what if you have some kind of vibrating device in your pants and you can't see what's happening but like it's obvious from your face that you're experiencing an orgasm mm. great question know. <laughs> there's a lot of different ways that I could kind of imagine pushing the line and actually my friend Trevor was just telling me about this insane trend on TikTok where oh I, I did it dude it blew up wait what are you talking the about the tits 
Oh, people have their <laughs> entire tits out on TikTok yes, right now. Yes, like have the nipples the and shit. But yes. it's like, it's yeah, this weird did, new challenge it. where they'll film it in such a way so that like the hair is covering the nipple, but then it's it goes away for a second and it comes back. <laughs> and these videos have millions of views because you can see a nipple for the like briefest second. I don't horny. get it. Where where is this coming from? Like, what what is the appetite for this? Because for me, a lot of these videos, I had to watch them three or four times before I noticed the slight nudity going on. Okay, like so your brain is not like oh. glitched out on it because I'm obsessed with them now. Really? So you're yeah. like into trying to find it's like a Where's Waldo type feeling in your yeah, brain? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> huh. I feel like it's like the taboo of doing something you shouldn't do on a very censored platform. Exactly. It's yeah. absolutely that. It's like you can have all the porn available to you in the world. But as soon as you see that fucking scientifically accurate titty in your like biology book, it's like the most <laughs> fascinating fucking thing to stumble. Like. Mm. It's like when you open the the textbook for uh, biology in like sixth grade, and they all fall open to the same page because kids were constantly <laughs> opening to the fucking titty page or whatever. There's just something about it. You ever you see guys? like a, a oh. naked homeless woman in public, and you just can't, can't look away? No, that no. sounds horrible. <laughs> I can usually look away from that. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Eh, yeah, you just went so much farther than anyone was ready to. I think I'm, you've been in LA longer than we have. Well, okay, like the, the more boring example of that would be like the National Geographic when you're a kid and you're looking at the women who are like clearly not like what most men would consider attractive, but you just can't believe that you're looking at it in the library. I went oh, with sure. the homeless They're woman. They're like in nude in like a culturally normal way. <laughs> I guess yeah, when I'm thinking homeless it's skid row, I'm thinking like a woman that's like dying of like methadone, and you can like see her tit like fall. That sounds yeah, yeah, that, that kind me. of vibe. No, I'm <laughs> not. I'm not trying to deny the uh, the depressing angle at all, because for sure it's depressing. I've seen some unreal shit when I was living down there. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500k. It 